Thing or just plain mud dogging at the Four Wheel Jamboree in Lima, Ohio. Bigger is always better. And you know what that means? Monster trucks! Behemoths bred by mutant technology to pummel inferior vehicles in contest of speed. Ah, gotta love it. On a gorgeous day in Lima, Ohio, it's a capacity crowd on hand. For the four-wheel Jamboree Nationals, it's monster truck Thunder Drags from the Allen County Fairgrounds. Claude Wood along with Rick Carlson from the booth today, and we're glad you joined us. And today, we said monster trucks. We're going to deliver on that. Lots of excitement as they go drag racing out there. 250 feet down the course, the finish line is in the air. The first one there will win. And coming up at the end of today's program, it's all about freestyle. Is that exciting? You better believe it. Now, with more on what makes up a monster truck, here's Doc Riley. A monster truck, 10,000 pounds. 66 inch tires. Now, of course, a fiberglass body makes it really nice. They've got a 572 cubic inch engine. They run on alcohol, supercharged. Of course, you know the engine's back in the trunk, and it's up to the driver whether he wants his header pipes to go down or at a 45 degree angle back. A Merlin engine right here on the T Max. But at the rear end of the truck, well, you've got to be able to prepare for any type of situation. You'll see right here, just like in the front, a little receiver hitch. You can actually put a ball in there, and if you needed to tow the truck from any particular area, you can do that. Also, on all kinds of monster trucks, you've got the remote ignition interruption device that takes away the spark from a monster truck and brings it slowly to a stop. Joining me in the booth today, our expert analyst, Rick Carlson. And Rick, what a classic matchup. This will be Raminator, Mark Hall and company, and he will face the Prowler. Raminator, basically a big Hemi-powered Dodge, and then you look at the Prowler, and it's one of those 3D bodies that, well, anybody could design it if you have a mind to picture something like that. You can, and is that blood on those teeth right there in front? It could be because he has chewed up and spit out many other competitors. Right now, Prowler, Raminator, it looked like there was some tire spin off the line, and we get a win for the Prowler. Raminator looked like he spun the tires a little bit. Hopefully we'll be able to notice that when we get to the replay. And if you're trying to figure this out at home, we will remind everyone that the finish line is actually in the air. So it's not where they land. It's not who jumps the farthest. And that was it. The Prowler in the far lane to our left ended up taking off and then a little bit of wiggling and waggling by Mark Hall. And I think that did in the Raminator. I think so. He used up a whole lot of the course on that run, Rick. Lima brings out the best and most monster truck racers. Hey, young man, congratulations. Nice run. Thank you. Looked like uh, you came off the line very, very well. We're able to get some power and uh, a good finish. Uh, what part of the track was really good for you? Well, I knew on the takeoff, Mark's very good. I knew I had to be quick on them lights else he's going to get me. So got off the first jump, hit second gear, and just left her to the floorboard and let her go. And it did very good for me. Really did, and you were up there. You got a lot of air, too. Yeah, it did, and it landed perfect. The new shocks that Alan's put on this truck, it lands excellent. I'm very happy with it. Very comfortable driving them. That's that's really a key, too. If you can feel comfortable, you can maybe take a couple of risks here and there. Yes, it does. I mean, uh, I've been with Alan for 19 years, and, and I've progressed with him, and things have, technologies have changed. Um, the ride in these trucks are so much nicer now than they used to be. Uh, compared to a rock to a marshmallow anymore, and it really, that's why we get to do the jumps we do. And that will bring up the big dog. Rick, he's always a crowd favorite no matter where he goes, but so is his competitor, the Avenger, driven by Jim Kohler. That's the 57 Chevrolet called the Avenger, while Doug Nolke driving the big dog and that great big old Ford. So we have conventional monster truck, and then I guess we have a monster car, clock. <laughs> Well, in 1957, I'm sure the powers that be at Chevrolet never pictured one to be like this. Jim Kohler, the guy with the red head, he's got the hair standing up. He's always wanted cars named the Avenger, and this is his truck, but he's in trouble right now. Nolke and the Big Dog just ran away with that one. That's one of the widest margin of victories we've seen. Big Dog must have done everything right that time. And there must have been some problems for the Avenger. 
We'll go to the replay and see maybe what went wrong, Rick. Big Dog, front end up in the air, just took off immediately. The Avenger looked like he was a little late off the line, spinning the tires, and Nolke did nothing but win. Doc Riley is with Big Dog. Hey, another one, man. I tell oh, you, yeah. you really have got this truck running straight with a lot of horsepower. Yeah, it is. It's running real straight for me and hooking up. I don't have to lift, don't have to pedal this thing, so it's just a rocket ship, man. It's an awesome ride. How was the track? Any lane better than the other one, do you think? Or do you have that much information yet? Uh, not really. I mean, I've been in the right lane, so I've been sticking with it. First pass I made in, it wasn't real, you know, straight. But ever since then, I've been going straight. So I'll stick with that. Now, uh, it wasn't real straight. Is that a dog problem or a truck problem? <laughs> that might be a dog problem. <laughs> might have scared me a little and I lifted a little. She wants to go. She wants to go. So I need to just stick with it. Last few passes have been really good. So I'm not going to change anything, brother. <laughs> This edition of the O'Reilly Motor Mania is brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts, home of the professional parts people, by Summit Racing Equipment, the world speed shop, and by Moroso, race proven Moroso. What are all these people watching? Why the burnout contest, of course. At any four wheel jamboree, every aspect of truck power is showcased will be tires shredding torque with the audience's judge. These four-wheelers take turns wasting rubber in an all-out attempt to sway the crowd. Who wins? By the tire retailers, of course. No doubt about that, Rick. And you know what? The crowd really gets into this thing, and it's all judged by the amount of smoke. You gotta love it. Moving on, monster truck round number one. Continuing, you're on board right now with T Max. T Max, Carl Van Horn bringing out the big machine, and he is going to be paired with oh, who else but Ramunition. This is Jeremy Dishman coming out, one of the Hall Dodges. It's Big Hemi and the Ford of T Max. Either one of these machines would be a showcase wherever they go. We're going to pull up and carefully stage. They have the crew getting them lined up exactly even. So when the lights flash, it's going to be the same amount. And who can get to the other end first and fly across the finish line? And Rick, as we've mentioned so many times, it's that all important launch when the lights count down. Well, we watched the winner there in Ramunition. Let's go back. We've seen what it looks like from the outside. Let's take a look at T-Max with an in-truck camera in real time and see what it's like to make a run in a monster truck. Here we go. Carl Van Horn steps on the throttle. He's back in the seat, and then all of a sudden, he's around having to steer it, bouncing and landing and getting thrown all around. Now from this end, got to see him go over the jump, the first one. Now while he's going over the second jump, Ramunition has already picked up the win. Well, the Ramunition will advance in the next round, but look at this. Crew guys working hard underneath there. As Jeremy stays back up top, he's concentrating on the next round. Looks like a little bit of leaking, but they've kind of pretty much got it all done. Any big problem with the truck? No problems at all. We're just changing the gear selection to try to get a little more speed out of her. Changing the gear selection, a little bit more speed. That's what it's going to take to win here at the Lima Jamboree. And Rick, that will bring up this guy, this is Chris Bergeron driving the Metallic Mayhem, and he will face Alan Pizzo in the Predator. And one thing about Alan Pizzo, Alan has been on the monster truck circuit since he was 15 years old. And you can see when you talk to this guy, he just loves what he's doing. He has that gorgeous Panther body, the monster truck, and he's going against the S10 of Bergeron. Both of them have done it for a while, and Bergeron almost sideways. And Pizzo takes the easy win. Well, as easy as it ever gets on a monster truck drag race. Boy, you were right. I don't know what happened to Bergeron there, but he was all kinds of sideways when he came right off the first jump. Goes up in the air and he lands. Front tires are cranked the other direction and it was just a mess. He did not leave the starting line straight and it showed when he landed the first time. Well, Alan Pizzo and the Predator, you guys are moving into the next round. Nice run. Definitely, that was a good, clean, fast run. 
Um, the next round is going to be a hard, tough one, but we're going to chip at them one, at, one and one round at a time, and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll pick it up a little bit. I kind of felt like I was sleeping a little bit off the line, so I know I can pick up a little bit there, and uh, hopefully we're going to come out here with a win. Truck sounds good. Very good. Um, i got to give credit to my guys at Sassy Racing. They've built me one heck of a good uh, piece here, and um, we're looking for better things to come. They've got me another motor in process of being done right now. Hopefully before we get to Bloomsburg, that one will be ready to go, and it's supposed to be better than this one, so you guys better watch out. Well, there's a warning if I ever heard one, and as we go to the ladder, it'll be Raminator coming up against the big dog. Ramunition will face the Predator. And also at Lima, we had the Mud Drags, the four-wheel equivalent of skipping a high-horsepower stone over a short, muddy bog. These specialty-built Class 5 rides feature a variety of chassis configurations, front engine, rear engine, but all had trouble staying on this short course. And the long and short of it is, Rick, that's a lot of horsepower for such a short track. That's it. You have small blocks. You have big blocks. You have injectors. You have blowers on them almost all running methanol and they really don't know where they're going to go they have more power than they can put to the course it's muddy it's not consistent it's treacherous out there and a lot of these guys you'll see some with wheelie bars on the back to keep them from flipping over some don't that's it you don't know what you're going to get their best hope is they can kind of float across the top of the mud but it doesn't work because it can dig in and go one way or another. They get to the other end and it starts getting a little sideways or, well, heck, right off the starting line you get sideways. Yeah, they're fun to watch. Simmy's next. Welcome back to O'Reilly Motor Mania from the Allen County Fairgrounds, Lima, Ohio. Well, it's a sport for the entire family. Great moments, dad and son there. And, you know, how would you like for your father to build a vehicle like this for you? Look at this. He's got an air supplied kit that will raise it, will lower it. What do you think this guy's going to be when he grows up, Rick? Well, he's either going to be an aeronautical engineer, maybe a monster truck driver. I would vote for the monster truck driver. He's having a ball with it. And we are too as we head right back to the Thunder Drag semifinals. And this will bring up the Prowler versus Old Big Dog. Big Dog, you take a look at Doug Nolke's machine, and here comes that Prowler, that monster that's 3D style. The Big Dog, all the airbrush is done by Brenda Nolke, Doug's wife, so she is involved too. Good run, side by side. Who's going to be able to get this one? At the finish line, it really looked like Big Dog, but not by a whole lot. Well, look at him taking the drive. Going to take the long way back, and we'll watch it again from the top end. And look at the Big Dog left side. He's got the front end up in the air a second time. He looked like he was straight in the Prowler this time. Jarzel getting a little sideways, having to drive it. Yeah, but over that first jump, Prowler was ahead by just a little. Hey, congratulations, another win, man. Oh, you God. look like you are producing some horsepower. It's got to be a handful. Oh, man, it is a handful. I mean, that was a tight race. I saw him, you know, in my peripheral there, so I didn't know it was close. So, yeah, we're, we're trucking on down through there, man. It's an awesome track. Looked like uh, the old uh, Ford power plant really hooked up at about half track. Oh, yeah, get over that first roller, man. You get the power on the ground, and then we go for that big ride. But I smell a kitty. And that kitty would be none other than Alan Pizzo and the panther body here of the Predator. Well, you wonder about that because I look at Jeremy Dishman in Ramunition, that Hemi Power Dodge, that would probably be the favorite, I would think, going into this semifinal pairing. Yeah, you've got all of that backing by Dodge and a lot of history behind it, but it's all going to be done in a couple of seconds right here. And it happened just off the line. It will be that Panther Body Predator going to the final. This one we look at, this is going to be interesting when we get to the replay watch ammunition it was muddy on the starting line and it threw him sideways immediately he had no chance Pizzo getting the win he lost it right after the launch hey Alan congratulations a great pass man you were ripping man what a round that was big um, this this point series is pretty tough out here you know we're a privateer against you know a corporate team and it sure does feel good to come out here and, and do good and win these rounds one by one. 
Boy, it really looks like when you dropped the hammer, the truck responded. It looked like a very straight pass. Did you have to muscle it very much, or did it just kind of go on rails? No, I tell you what, that was just like it was on a string. It felt like it left the line good, and uh, it just hooked up all the way. In the final, it will be the big dog versus the kitty cat. Meanwhile, a lot of gorgeous trucks here today. Beautiful day at the Allen County Fairgrounds, and then think about a nice sunny day like this. It pops the paint right off of the sheet metal. Bart right here is working on his ride, and hey, this is a nice looking Ford. Uh, what's the color, first of all? It's called Harvest Gold Metallic. It's a, actually a Ford factory color, uh, which was actually repainted. We had actually repainted the truck just to bring the luster out. We put a, actually a little bit more metallic into the color just to make it more lustrous. It really pops. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. As I said, it's, it's a great time being here. I love the truck. It's just, you know, something simple, but I just like it. I love everybody else's truck. Yeah, but I just wanted to stay simple. I just like simple things. Well, you've done simple, but I think if you look at it from different angles, you can see that uh, you really have done quite a bit, even starting with the tires. Yeah, the tires, they're uh, very nice. I like them. They're Truxxas tires made by Interco, so it's uh, Super Swamper tires. They're radial tire. I wanted something quiet, just couldn't stand the noise on the road anymore, and I just love the way they handle. And some nice little accents. The windshield wipers look good. Even the rear view mirror's got a nice little look to it. Yeah, that windshield wiper, I got a lot of comments on that. Everybody wasn't really too sure of it. And I just liked it. I just, like I said, I just wanted to be a little bit simple, but unique and different. And I just, I just liked the mirror. It was, it was... You show the truck in competition? Oh yeah, actually I do. I, uh, I have a couple other vehicles that I show, but this one I'd like to bring. Just, you know, just something I enjoy to come. It falls into the street category, and that, that's what I like. What about the engine? Pretty much stock? The engine's pretty much stock. It has a uh, Mack Ram Air induction on it, but as far as the engine and everything else, it's just a stock V10. What, what do you like about the Jamborees? The Jamborees, I love them. They're family-oriented events. Uh, I can bring my family with me. We, we built a uh, little wagon for my son and my little daughter to pull around. And just talking to everybody. Everybody's really friendly at these shows. It's enjoyable. And most of all, it's, it's a family. It's called family events, and that's basically what it's for is the family. Oh, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be a good race here. Don't worry about that, dog. He always, always, dog's always chasing that cat. So we're oh, looking for that cat yeah. to win this final. The old dog oh. going to get a hold of this kitty. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens, little buddy. Now, uh, me and Alan, we're going to go out there and put on a heck of a race. I guarantee you that. This edition of Motor Mania is being brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts, home of the professional parts people. By ARP, the world leader in racing fastener technology. And by Hallmark, built strong for the way you work and play. It's finals time, and Rick, here comes the kitty cat, and he will face the dog. That would be the big dog. That's your Ford and the Predator. That's the Panther body called the Kitty Cat. Alan Pizzo and Doug Nolke. Well, as we ended the last segment, you could see the two of them saying that it was going to be a good show and a lot of fun. Well, they were friends then, but I think that just changed as they pulled up to the starting line. Yeah, when the helmet goes on, it's war, all out war. Right now, for the last couple of years, I would say that Predator would have an edge. Pizzo has done pretty well. Nolke, not quite as well. I don't know how it's going to play out. That's why we race him this time. And Rick, I think it's the Predator maybe by about a half a truck length. It looked like it started off fairly close, but when we see the replay, I want to see what happened to the big dog. I think the big dog tried to go over and play with the kitty cat. It looked like it. On the launch, pretty identical. And that was what happened. Nolke goes to the right after the Predator, and the Predator's just gone. Pizzo doing another great job. Lost it on that first jump. Looks like the Brentwood Tennessee base Predator picks up a win and puts the big dog on the porch. Well, I told you them cats always are in front of that dog. <laughs> Man, what a round. That was a tough round. It's been a tough day. And we came out here with a win, and I tell you, that helps our championship hopes keeping this thing alive. We've been leading it from the beginning. Hopefully we can continue to uh, lead and come out of this you know, season with a winning championship. You guys both came off the line, identical reaction times. It looks like Doug may have stumbled just a little bit at half track, maybe a miss of the engine, but it looked like, again, this truck is just straight as an arrow. Well, I'm sorry about his luck. You know, it just happens to be lucky our day. Um, I got to give my guys, John Knox and Brian Knox, a big round of applause because they've built me one fantastic piece of an engine here. and. Like I say earlier, they've, they're building another one for me right now in, in the process. It's actually going to be better than this one. So beware, everybody. We're really out here to win this deal. 
Hey, uh, come back here. Come back here. Looks like the big dog got kicked to the porch. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on the porch right now, but I'm going to go after that kitty. Dog. It was a good race, man. That's all I can say. I had to do a little pedaling. Once you do that, you know, you're done. So good job, Alan. Congratulations. You better believe it, brother. Rick, let's do some freestyle. Here comes the 2005 Dodge Ram Heavy Duty, driven by Mark Hall. And yes, it's got a Hemi in it. Look at those tires spin and it hits the ground and oh, that jars your tailbone and your teeth. Front end up in the air. This machine has won many events and titles. Now coming back to another jump. Part of a two truck team. Tim Hall is the crew chief. Jeremy Dishman drives the other one. But Mark Hall, title after title, excitement after excitement, keeping it on. Well, one, two, three, and four wheels. And that will bring up the Nightmare, driven by Andy Hoffman. Andy Hoffman been driving this thing. Looking at him, walking the dog, doing the wheel stand. Over 25 years driving Nightmare, and here come the donuts. Everybody loves them except the people that are getting hit with the mud claws. And Rick, we've seen some end cap shots. The driver is actually very busy in the business end inside right there. And now it's outside, and this is where you play to the crowd. How do you win? It's all crowd noise. And Team Max up on the bumper. It looked like he was going to go over forward on that landing. This is Team Max, driven by Carl Van Horn. Up on two with the donuts. Now we we'll switch and go the other way. And look at the air coming down, bouncing. The body shaking. Now from inside, let's see how much Carl gets bounced around. Whoa, that hurts at times. Well, the crew think nothing hurts. If you get three tens, it'd be a perfect score. That's a 30, and this crew tried to influence the crowd. Uh, they're a little bit biased. Well, here comes the 1957 Chevy body. It's the Avenger. Look at that. Probably 50 yards up on the back bumper. Well, if there were a bumper. There go the donut. He's got to get dizzy doing this, Claude. He does, and this guy is one of the most aggressive guys driving in freestyle. Reckless abandon. The Avenger name, he's named every one of his vehicles the Avenger. It's a name that came from his father who used it while drag racing. Speaking of racing next week, Indoor Kart Championship from Tunica, Mississippi. And that'll put a wrap on this edition of O'Reilly Motor Mania. For Rick Carlson and Doc Riley, Claude Wood, so long, everyone. Husk.